A new playlist update just went live for Warzone and we're going over any changes made in the update including the removal of 200 player quads and a fix, but not a perfect one, for the Rytec AMR. Plus a new wave of player bans, but again there are issues with it. First, if you're like me and hate to watch 10 minute videos and just want straight to the point updates and info, then please support my channel by watching the video until the end and liking and commenting. This lets the YouTube bots know that while this video is short, it is worth promoting alongside those much longer videos. Okay, let's jump into it. We'll start with that fix to the Rytec AMR and this was spotted by a Reddit user named Superman King and wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, but since the release of the new sniper rifle, it's had zeroing issues. That means that the bullets are essentially not hitting exactly where you're aiming. The issue appears to have been fixed though in the latest update, but it's still not perfect as the gun is still not one shot killing like it should be. Next, a new wave of player bans has removed tons of innocent players from the game. I'm sure many of you watching this have had this happen to you as well, and the biggest issue right now is not only are the innocent players being removed, who have definitely not cheated, but Activision are completely silent on the issue. In fact, if you've contacted the support recently, all they have to say is all bans are final and not subject to appeal following an investigation by the enforcement team, which means they probably didn't investigate and just copy and paste that reply to everyone. But with so many innocent accounts reporting the issue, I'm sure they will have no choice but to actually look into it. Moving on, there was a new playlist update to Warzone, and with no major changes taking place, like we saw in last week's mid-season update, there is no download required for this one. So when you turn on the game, it will simply say it's updating and the new changes will be applied. The first big change is the 200 player quads has been removed. This mode was a bit of a test and run for the devs to see how adding more players worked out, and to be honest, it received mixed reviews. Some liked the chaos of more players, and others found it to be a bit too much. I personally wasn't a fan and just prefer the 150 players, I think it's the perfect amount of players for the size of the map. Plunder Blood Money was also at 200 players for a little bit, and that has been reduced down to 100. The Battle Royale mini menu has been updated with the removal of 200 player quads, standard quads has been added back to the game, and the playlist now allows you to play all four modes, which is good news, solos, duos, trios, and quads. Finally, the BR Stimulus trios has returned. The game mode removed the Gulag feature from the game, and instead will automatically redeploy any player who has enough cash on them to redeploy. That makes collecting money super important for survival in this game mode. Finally, there is a new Intel mission, which you can see in this picture here, and I will probably go over this in a separate video. Guys, that is a breakdown of everything happening in the game right now, including the latest update for Warzone. If you have any questions about any of the changes, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Remember to like and share so the YouTube bots can suggest this video to others, and I can continue to make these much shorter videos and still compete with the much longer ones. And with that being said, thanks for watching.